The goal of the project is to demonstrate a scalable, energy efficient, and cost effective hollow fiber membrane conductor based process for efficient CO2 capture from flue gas using a green deep eutectic solvent. Deep eutectic solvent is an inexpensive CO2 solvent which is uh, non toxic, which has also in uh, negligible vapor pressure but it has the challenge of a high viscosity to overcome that challenge uh, we proposed or we demonstrated a scalable uh, membrane conductor based process it provides very high surface area to bring the gas and liquid phase in intimate contact so the, here the, the membrane conductor we are using is for us so through the pores the gas can come through it but the deep eutectic solvent can go through the lumen side let's say or inside of the fiber so here a blow out of a single fiber here we see that through the lumen side deep eutectic solvent pass through it from the shell side the flue gas go and the deep eutectic solvent or des selectively absorbs co2 while it doesn't absorb nitrogen it works as a physical solvent means under pressure it absorbs once the solvent come out of the module it releases the D co2 because the pressure is released and then the pump continues to uh, run it through the membrane so i would like to mention that it doesn't require any regeneration step here it's just a reservoir uh, because it just release the pressure it releases the co2 so it is working as a continuous mode of operation as a single step we as a starting point we uh, used railing which is made of choline chloride and urea and then to establish the proof of concept the we after the synthesis we analyzed uh, the soft measurement so here we show that the CO2 solubility increases with pressure uh, li almost linearly, which means that it is a physical sorbent, but it doesn't absorb any nitrogen. For a membrane contactor, there are several criteria must be met to develop a process. Among them, two important criteria are weightability and capillary force. So from meeting those criteria, we have identified uh, porous polypropylene uh, hollow fibers. And uh, we used a single gas measurement as well as uh, mixed gas measurement. So this is the results. It shows that the membrane contactor can selectively separate CO2 from mixed gas of nitrogen from 10% to 50% to 100% of feed gas and the purity of the recovered co2 is about 97 percent so recently we uh, warnell filed a provisional patent application on this work and we also published the proof of concept work in industrial and engineering chemistry research the paper is also featured in the supplementary cover page here as we mentioned one of the challenge uh, of des is high viscosity to reduce the viscosity adding water is one of the ways so we added water from five percent ten percent to forty percent and we found that in fact adding water increased the solubility to some extent but the maximum solubility increased about 20 percent but beyond that it did not and we using the ten percent water we used it in the membrane contactor and we also found that in membrane contactor the performance even increased more so that increases not only because of the solubility but also because of the uh, kinetics or because 10 percent adding water increased the co2 flux by more than 100 percent whereas solubility only increased 30 percent so we'll continue these studies so overall this shows that water improves the performance of relin and we'd also like to mention that if this is the situation that water 
no water removal from the flue gas is required, which results in saving cost and energy. So compared to the literature, so far our results is that there are literature who used DPT solvent in uh, membrane as a supported liquid membrane. Uh, and then they reported the CO2 permeance uh, and our CO2 permeance is uh, better than uh, the lit literature. Re but we would also like to mention it's not only about results. Our hollow fiber membrane contactor is a scalable process where a supported liquid membrane is not a practical option because of the higher pressure, uh, because of the solubility, it works under pressure. So very likely that supported liquid membrane is not going to be uh, a, a practical option for uh, potential deployment in industry. So, and our current results after adding water and further process optimization results are even much better than uh, what we reported in our first paper. Uh, so we are working on uh, preparing another manuscript on this process optimization and water effect.